Hey guys, Fire Guy here with another Transformer review, and this time we're doing the KB Toys Exclusive R.I.D. Bludgeon, which I'll show you um, Bludgeon Robot Mode for Revenge of the Fallen. But yeah, he has a long missile that it doesn't even fire. That back in uh, G2, since this is a G2 repaint, um, this is G2 repaint of Megatron. So yeah, this is supposed to sh make the missile shoot out. I think it's just because the missile tip is like warped. Yeah, it's way. I think that the missile is just way too long. So yeah, I just keep it like this. And how you put it like this? Because I thought it was just like this at first, but then I found out uh, this little groove. What you do is you flip it around so that some of the wire is on top it allows the oh wait what you do is you flip it around like this it allows the wire to go into that little groove at the bottom and then you plug it in like that oh and also it came with three missiles but I only know what one is what you do is open this and then you store it like this which yeah, I can see that happening, but, yeah, it's a G2, so, yeah. Okay, so, on to transformation. What you want to do first is you bring these down, you slide this to the, well, you slide it to the, his right side, not our right side, to the left, to our left, if you're facing, facing like this, the right, this way, to the left. Then, you see this little circle thing right here? Lift that up, bring it back to reveal his head. But I like to do that last. Some people like to do it before. And what you want to do is bring these down, rotate these to create his arms. Then what you want to do? Oh yeah, take that off. Take off the green bit. Push his these tracks back. Bring this down. Now this doesn't really plug in that well because it's pretty old. Excuse me. So yeah. Now what you want to do? Bring down the legs. Bring down the legs. Yeah. And then bring up the head. And then I just plug it in like this. So yeah. Here is Bludgeon in his robot mode. Now, comparing him to Bludgeon now. The bludgeon from Friend of the Fallen Nest in Global Alliance, you could see a difference. Height wise, yes. Design wise, definitely yes. But the thing with this guy is that he has a huge Decepticon symbol. This guy has it only right there. Yeah. Sorry, I just finished reviewing the R.I.D. Megatron, which you should have watched before. Yeah, I'm just tired. <laughs> so anyway, um, onto articulation. He has three... Oh, he can do that. He has 360 at the shoulder. He has outward movement. On this arm, he has two different outward movements. You do this. It's like, uh, mister, mister, I need your help. I want to kill you. I kill you. With my laser. Now he has no handheld weapons, but what he can do, I believe, yep, is kind of loosely, but still he's able to hold the mech tech weapons. So if you want, you can have him doing this. Say hello to my little saw or ratchet. But anyway. He has elbow, he has no wrist, but he also has an elbow rotation. He has a waist joint, which is very rare for Transformers nowadays. A head swivel, forward leg, backward leg, outward leg, um, no thigh or um, knee swivel, as a knee, so that then you can do like this type of pose. Come on. 
There we go. Do like he's running. But yeah, he just looks like Megatron because this is a refan with G2 Megatron. I'm sorry, I just can't get that that, that face. The face is of G1 Megatron, G2. It's not gonna focus. But yeah, this guy. He's cool, but not the best bludgeon. If you want to get a pretty good bludgeon, in my opinion, pick up the Nesco Blinds. Because he is just way more cooler. Alright, he has a giant katana. Which I think is actually, um, like about the same size. Yep, up to the head, it's the same size. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to laugh. And I know that I have um bludgeon smaller dagger around here. Yeah, here we go. He can hold the smaller dagger, but it just looks silly. Because of his large um tank it this is how tanks used to transform in the olden days. In G2, G1. Now, tanks transform into a freaking samurai. You can see the difference in time. And this guy's copyright year was... Um... 1993. This guy was last year. This guy looks stupid with a sword. This guy looks freaking awesome. So yeah. If you want um the G2 Megatron, but I know that this guy is extremely expensive. Find it if it you find if you find it like about ten dollars, something like that, pick him up. Because that's how much he was. Do not go above retail price for this guy. Oh yeah, another thing, you can have him with the sword right there, so it'll be like, Whoa! I thought you was that. Oh, I can stand. Oh, another thing, his feet are so small. I mean, look at this, okay? This is another thing that tanks used to do. Tank Transformers in the past used to, used to be like this. Tank Transformers now have real feet. Yeah. I'm sorry about comparing him to, um, nowadays figures. Nowadays figures are so much better. Because, like, in the thing with, um, George. His original figure, all he could do, first of all, the legs would have been like this. All you would be able to do would be this. Dude. Dude. That's all. Well now you've got the entire elbow, you got the entire um got forward, nylon, knee, rotation, rotation, um a little bit of an ankle so joint. Yeah. Times have changed. But still, it just seems like I should put him in the ultimate shelf. The ultimate old shelf. Oh, and by the way, for those of you Marvel fans, here's a size comparison with the Mark six. 6. So, yeah. He looks like he could be just the Iron Monger compared to this guy. So, yeah. Do I recommend him? Well, if you are a completist, yes. If you like G2, yes. If you're a completist of R.I.D., yes. If you like repaints, yes. If, um... What's it called? If you like bludgeon and you're a bludgeon completist, yeah. But not if you're just a casual collector or you just like figures. Do not get them just because of that, okay? So yeah, and plus, 
I think I I think that there's actually a better there was a bl better bludgeon just a few years later, but he wasn't called bludgeon. He was called rapid run. The repaint of side swipe and sideways. Doesn't he look like a better one? Sure, he's smaller, but he's got sure he has no ankle or okay, it's less articulation. But he has an ankle swivel. So that means that you can basically get him into completely different poses. At least the way you'd have to, but still. Yeah. So, alright guys, signing out with Transformers R.I.D. KB Toys Exclusive Bludgeon. Goodbye.